I have two open access proposal. One priced at 320 tariff in a fixed rail technology. Second priced at 335 tariff in a solar tracker technology. I'm in a confused state because the investment in tracker is much higher than the fixed rail. The tariff in tracker is also much higher, but I'm getting lot more energy that gets generated from the te tracker technology. I'm not yet sure which te which technology, which tariff to go for. My management, myself, is completely inclined towards cheaper tariff option. I get to hear this from corporate energy consumers almost on a daily basis, wherein they have proposals of different technologies, be it solar compared with solar versus wind, be it solar tracker, solar fixed tilt. Tariffs are different, equity are different, and they are not able to decide which option to go for, and mostly gets inclined and attracted towards a cheaper tariff option so in this video i'm going to break down for you three step framework wherein after understanding the framework and implementing the steps that i'm telling you you'll be able to decode and decide which open access solution makes sense whether the cheaper tariff one or a better technology one or a combination of both so stay with me till the end of this video because you'll get lot more value and lot more clarity on which proposal to go for before I go and tell you the steps, I just want to quickly tell you a little bit about the technology. Solar fixed tilt is a technology wherein the solar panels are mounted on a fixed tilt tracker and it is inclined at a particular angle facing the sun. Similarly, solar tracker is a technology which tracks the movement of the sun throughout the day and tracker makes the modules track the sun and hence produce lot more energy. So in a very simple way, if it is a tracker based technology, you get a lot more power in the same capacity. Whereas if it is fixed tilt based technology, you get a lesser power. So this is broadly about the technology. So let's go back to the steps that I promised. So in step one, in both the cases, in the proposal of fixed tilt and tracker, the step one is to analyze the technical parameters. When I say technical parameters, there are four important parameters that you should be aware of and you should have metrics around that. The number one parameter is that how much units that you're gonna get in each of the technology. So once you know how much units you're gonna get on an annual basis, you should also be aware of the daily generation curve, solar generation curve in both fixed tilt and also in solar tracker. So you should also be aware how much capacity that you are getting in both of the cases, whether it is fixed tilt or the tracker. Uh, and along with in both of the cases, how much settlement of the units that you are going to get at your plant. So these are the four things that you should have the metrics around. You should be ready with. And whenever you have two proposals, you should technically analyze the proposal around these four parameters. Step two, study the proposal from the commercial parameters. There are many commercial parameters which are important, but I'm going to list down three critical commercial parameters, which is which is critical. One is what is the tariff that you are getting in both of the cases? Remember the tariff that I talked about in the beginning of this video and how much it translates into landed solar tariff at your plant. So this is the first parameter that you should be aware of. Second important thing is that what is the investment? How much is the project cost in both of the cases and how much investment that you're going to make equity investment in both of the cases? So you have tariff equity investment and third important thing is that whatever units that you're getting from each of the technology what is the tariff that they are replacing so you need to know replaceable grid tariff which means if sun is generating a solar tracker is generating more during the day and replacing the tariff which is expensive so it should be in that factor what is your replaceable grid tariff so these are three critical parameters on which you need to analyze the proposal from commercial angle Step three, which is the crucial step where the answer lies. So in this step three, you have to create a financial model and this financial model should be created either in an Excel or a Google sheet. And these are four important steps that you need to take while you are building this financial model. You need to factor all the technical and commercial parameter that I talked about in step one and step two in this financial model. Build this model for next 25 years on a monthly basis, get an analyst, or the experts on board it on board to do this third important thing is that build in how much investment that you are making um, in this and what is the cash outflow or inflow that you have in this financial model on a monthly basis building in the technical and commercial parameters in both 
the technology option whether it is solar fixed tilt or solar tracker and once you have this cash flow strip the important parameter that you need to calculate is the net present value what is the net present value of the cash flows that you are getting which means what is the money that you are getting into your pocket today in both the cases so in both the cases once you have the npv at with you in both the cases let me tell you a secret the npv wherever the npv is maximum whether it is solar fixed tilt or a solar tracker uh, that is a solution that you should choose for or that is the proposal that you should go for so don't fall into the trap of a sasta tariff 3 bees 15 paise sasta hai 3 paise se but maybe at a npv level 335 will be far more attractive so do a thorough due diligence while selecting any solar open access proposal by implementing the steps that i talked about i hope you found this video valuable useful you got clarity about how to choose the solution and if you found this video useful then i have a special invitation for you and this invitation is for to book a one on one consultation call with us where in this in this one hour consultation call me and my team decode the open access science and its proposal for you in this one hour so that you have a clarity which are the proposal that you should go for trust me this one hour of time investment will give you at least 100x return on your investment so i look forward to see you in the meeting and in my next video click on the link below and looking forward to see you in the meeting thank you